What's up YouTube? I don't know if you guys noticed or not, but I haven't made any scooter videos for over a month. I got my first flat tire. Um, I got the flat tire on July 17th and it took me over a month to get my scooter back. Four weeks and one day. Today's um, August 18th, so one day and one month. I got a flat on the rear and the problem is in Vietnam they just don't have e-scooters here and they don't carry that size tube anywhere. They tried to repair the tube and they were unsuccessful and they had to import the tube from abroad and it took that long to make the repair. When I got the scooter back everything was completely dead. Power won't turn on. Somebody had left the turn signal and the lights on and drained the whole entire battery. So I'm a little bit worried that it's not going to plug in or charge or they didn't hook something up properly. Um, I'm going to give it a try right now and see. Alright guys, the moment of truth. Let's see what happens when I plug it in. Hopefully the battery starts charging again. Okay, the red light is on, that means it is charging. Wow, the scooter is still too dead to turn on. Let's give it some time and see what happens. So even though they charged me a pretty high price to repair the scooter, you can see that they didn't put on the valve stem cover. I mean, it's like a probably a 25 cent part. I'm not sure why they wouldn't put one on there. They charged me 350k to repair that um, flat tire. Normally a flat tire on a motorbike here it costs you like 40k or 50k. The problem is about the tube and also it's a little bit more labor because they have power to the back wheel. Actually it was quite a hassle. Uh, let me go through the whole story with you guys. This was actually one of the first couple days when I got my DJI Osmo Action. I was just recording because I was trying to um, figure out the best settings for the video. I really love this scooter. It speeds up faster than any uh, other scooters in this price range for sure. The readout there is kilometers per hour also, by the way. What do you guys think of the image quality coming from this DJI Osmo Action? I think it looks pretty good since I graded the color, but I wish the field of view was a little bit wider. It doesn't have that super view mode like GoPro has. Listen, when I go around this corner up here, you can tell I ran over something. You want off. I didn't think too much of it at the time, but that had to be what gave me the flat. It took a while for the air to actually run out though. It didn't go flat immediately. I recently sold my Insta 360 1X because I was planning on upgrading to the 1R, the new camera, but here in Vietnam it's uh, out of stock everywhere. I've been watching a lot of YouTube reviews about the GoPro Max also. That one is in stock and it's a little bit cheaper than the 1R. Any of you guys have either one of those cameras? Let me know in the comments if you uh, have a preference. I really like filming on the 360 camera a lot better than the Osmo Action. It's really hard to get a top quality image out of the Osmo. You have to fool with the settings a whole lot. I do like the audio quality coming out of this though, even though right now you're hearing a voiceover. Currently riding in District 9, near my apartment. You gotta be careful for these buses around here. They drive like they own the road. You, they don't let you pass, and when they pass you, they just fly right by and then they pull over right in front of you and cut you off. I was hoping they could sneak by this bus by going this way over here on the side. 
The 360 camera is nice because I can record multiple angles at one time. I can record myself and the road and the scooter all from the same clip and just reframe it and render the video three different times. This bridge on the right side that looks like it's about to fall down has been under construction for like more than two years. They started it and they just like stopped right in the middle of the project. I don't know what's going on over there. Probably recording good because it's not that sunny. About right here I started to notice that the scooter was riding a little bit funny. Hundred and eighty two kilometers. I just got my first flat tire. Oh. Damn, I just got a flat tire. I have no idea how far I have to walk to get it fixed or if they can even fix it. Terrible. Here we go. Here's a motorbike repair place. Let's see if they can fix it. I honestly have no idea what happened to that valve cover. Can repair? Okay. Uh, about near pin?
terrible. Still walking, just asked the second place and they said no, they don't want to fix it. They didn't even want to look at it really. I guess it's not a motorbike. A tire is a fucking tire, right? You can fix a tire on a motorbike, you can fix a tire on an e-scooter. I don't think it's that much more difficult. What's the difference? Ready to try the third place. Over two so far. Let's see what the third place says. Come on. Uh, Oh, for three, I'm still walking and pushing the e-scooter back home, I guess. I'm not sure what to do. I'll have to call around and see if I can find somewhere to get it fixed or look online. No one really knows what to do with it, I guess. Maybe I'll try a bicycle shop. There aren't really any e-scooters here in Saigon at all.